Hello everybody in the world, come back, it's me Kuno and today we're playing some more Angels of Death, episode 4. This might be the final episode of this game. <clears throat> that would depends on... Uh, it looks like we're getting close to the end. But hey, let's see. So yeah, last episode we... We find, found out about like... Um, Ray, Rachel Gardner's like dark secret. <coughs> Fuck, sorry, my sorry, my voice is cracking. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, and yeah, and she's kind of psycho herself. So, um, and now we're gonna now we're gonna go back to uh, Rachel and uh, and see what we. Uh, see what will happen. I mean, uh, yeah, jeez, it's opened. Danny's supposed to be in here. Hey, wake up! You had enough shut eye. Get your ass up. Eh, Zach. Eh, I'm so sorry. And I wasn't sure that I wouldn't drag you down, too. Shut up. None of that shit matters. Yeah? Listen to me. Ray, I need you to answer me. The people who come to this floor. Are you gonna kill them? Mm hmm. Hey, explain yourself. Fuck, my <clears throat> my voice is cracking today. I mean, uh, I guess maybe I'm <laughs> getting sick. I don't know. Wait. Can you stop getting rough with Rachel, Zach? Did someone just shoot us? Watch out. Back off. What a simpleton you are. It's repulsive. Dr. Danny. Why, good morning, Rachel. I took the liberty of bringing Sag up to speed on everything about you. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh, those turbine beaters. It feels as if they would envelop me at any moment. What the hell is going on? Am I gonna be killed by you since I'm on your floor? No, never. Now, Rachel, you mustn't lie. Don't mean does that. Sorry. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. I don't wish to put a bullet through your head. Hey. Silence. Will you give it a rest? Didn't I say I'm a, uh, as desperate as you are? I must make her understand that. Besides, a low life monster like yourself must be dying to know as well. Rachel killed her parents in seeking her perfect family. I was assigned to be her therapist. <laughs> the rapist. <clears throat> it was then I insisted she be made into a resident here on this floor. Well, although the Reverend didn't seem Reverend, I don't. I'm sorry if I like pronounce. Stuff wrong, you know. Okay. <clears throat> it didn't seem very taken with idea. I was convinced everything would be fine. Most of all, her peepers. How long to protect her eternal solitude at any cost? But her spirit has chattered 
was chatted. Before I knew it, she was reading a Bible placed in this room, right? Naturally, the reverend would not allow me to assign someone like her as a floor guardian. Tell me, Rachel, how could a calm and collected person like yourself become so corrupted? I wanted to achieve my own ideal. I couldn't accept anything other than that. But the Bible told me that it was me who who would not be accepted. Yeah, and so he tried to die, assuming the uh, uh, wait, guys, wait, uh, fuck, guys of someone normal, pure and innocent. In fact, Rachel was convinced she would get away with it with your help. A fool who swore no to God, and to top it all off, became the very thing for her that he swore to. Feels like I read that wrong. But Rachel, you already knew, didn't you? No matter how much one reads the Bible or realizes one's mistakes, one can never deceive one's true self. Somewhere in that heart of yours, you secretly wish to own Zack, did you not? Oh, how wonderfully horrible. Mm. Well, Zack, you've come to a crossroads. Die here, or climb down from your exalted altar as a race god. I'll leave her alone. What shall it be? The truth can no longer be undone. Rachel can no longer return and must stay here. She has efficiently deceived you. Hmm. Uh, Ray, is what then is saying true? Yes. That's right, Zack. So you lied to me, huh? I did, Zack. Zack will... will still be my god. Hmm. You won't entrust yourself to me. I'm... I'm not some god of yours. Mm. Wonderful. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, Rachel, you return to your usual self now. Tell me, it is your desire. I'll make it come true. Oh, tell me what it is you desire, and I'll make it come true. Oh, and Zack, feel free to run along. Selfish bastard, don't tell me what to do. Wait. Rachel? Hmm. I've committed a foul sin, that much I know. But it was no use, just knowing it was a sin. Though why? Uh, but why that's bad, I just can't figure out. Is it futile, Zack? Am I wrong? Are you not my god, Zack? She has a gun. But I need one, Zack. I need a god. Ray. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, okay. She's the murderer on this. Jesus Christ. I like, I didn't think it would actually happen, you know. Oh, Rachel, that's a very instant. Oh, that's the very instant your peepers are the most beautiful. Sack, I'm afraid I'll have to retract my offer to let you go. Now my top priority is her wishes. Hmm. 
Well, your only option now is to go after her, even if it could mean your death, Sack. Well, dude, Sack had been like butchered a bunch of times, like I think he can like take a gunshot like to the shoulder or whatever. I don't, I don't know. Sack is like badass. So. To fulfill her wishes, I shall become her servant. Me. Ah, shit. Wait, wait. Okay, let, let's save. Oh my god. Oh, uh, yeah, did I go in here? God damn it. Where the hell is she? No water. Hey, was this done full of water? Uh, hey, was this doing fill up with water again? Don't tell me. That she's in there. Ow, for fuck's sake. Hmm. I had a feeling this wouldn't work on you, Zack. That bitch. I thought I told her to wait up. Jesus Christ. Wait. If I were to... Oh, Jesus Christ. Huh? <laughs> Fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Play with fire, huh? <laughs> I'll head you off. And get you. Hey! Cut it out! Three... Two... Huh? One. Uh, shit. Oh wow, this won't work either. But you really do hate fire, don't you? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'll fuck you up. Did you run away to her room? Oh Christ, what? Hey wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh. What the hell? What? That was too much crazy for me. Cut it out. I don't fuck with me. Remember that, you idiot. Mm -hmm. uh, hey. How long you plan to keep running? <laughs> Are you gonna shoot me? Will that kill you? If you're gonna kill me. Oh, I was about to kill you first. It can't be that way now. Sack, it was useless from the very... So where you start, I guess. Even now, my soul is telling me that I gotta die. I gotta be killed. God would never decide an abomination like me. He has no use for me. And it was you, Zack, who swore to God that he would kill me. But once I learned that God doesn't exist, I made you my God, Zack. Ray, listen to me. How many times do we get to say this? I ain't your god. It's Kuno. Kuno's your god. <laughs> I'm... Yes, I'm aware. Sack. <laughs> and what are you aware of? Hmm? My 
life's been exposed. My God, he's dead. Hey, wait. Damn it. She won't listen to what I gotta say. And, and just... Yeah. Uh, and just sits her peas and runs... Ah, uh, fuck. <clears throat> just sits her peas and runs off on her own. So she just says one thing and then runs off. Pretty much. Okay. Did she go in here? How do people think shit like this up? How do people think shit like this up? Yeah, huh. Is she here? Where did she go now? Another lock door? Wrong way. Where the hell are you? I don't need to go downstairs now. And I don't know where she is. I don't know where she went. Maybe she went this way. Hmm. No. It's open. Hmm. <sighs> All you ever do is run away. Hmm. Say something. Can you take a hint that the uh, fuck it's it's Danny? Can you take a hint that she has nothing left to say to you? That was un that was unlike you. Leaving yourself open like this. Oh, you bastard. Don't move, or you're dead. Eh. Rachel, what took you so long? That's not like you. Hmm. Well, a monster like that would probably slow anybody down. But no need to worry now. Even he can survive a shot to the head. You bastard. Yeah. I'm sorry, Doctor. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Doctor Danny. Sex, mine to kill. Ah, is that so? That makes sense. Besides, wait, hold <clears throat> Besides, I'm too tired to go on. I want to finish this. I'm sorry, little Danny. I can't live with you. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I already killed and created a family, so I won't be forgiven anyway. It's over. I don't care, even if it's not my god. It doesn't matter anymore. But Zack, Leslie, I want to make you mine by my own hands. Nah, if you want it so bad, then do it. You want to die? You want me dead? You want to end this? Which is it? None of what you're saying makes a bit of sense. I... know that. Well then, quit saying such stupid shit. I don't mean to. I'm dead serious. I'm serious about killing you. Is that so? Eh. Killed by... Pin-sized squirt like you? <laughs> Not happening. No. No. Sack. If you want it to end so bad, then I'll end it. No. No. What's the problem? I'll be granting your wish. Don't kill me. Not like this. 
know that would kill me. No. It, it's just that you no longer, my god, I no longer have any need for my own god. My god is dead. Mm. Oh, that's right. I killed your god. I kill it. <laughs> but I'm not dead. Do you catch my drift? Who said they'd kill you? My god. No. I don't know really. I'm not a voice actor, so you just sounds cringy as fuck, and I don't know. Deal with it. Me. It was me. Not someone else or your god. I will kill you. But I. I that can't be. I'm defiled. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to here? I am a killer. Killing is my passion. I've killed more than I can count. <laughs> but I never run around all psycho wait psychotically like you and Danny. I don't sh shit about your uh, wait, I don't give a shit about your parents, oh god. But there's no reason to go around making them excuses for your actions. I, for one, set my heart on what I want and act on my own volition. If I'm my own man, then you're your own woman, right? Am I wrong? Mm. I'm my own woman. <laughs> Alright, girl. If you're your own woman, and grab life by the ball, <laughs> by the balls. Take control, damn it! Uh, uh. Hey, Ray, you see me? Who am I? Sack. Oh. Ah, I think he got through to her, actually. Yep. And that's some god, right? Mm. Yeah. You were sick all along. Hey, you too damn serious for a crazy bitch. Hey, Ray. Lucas, Lucas, la. Look who's in front of you. Me. If you can grasp that concept. Ray, desire me. If you want to die, swear an oath for me to kill you. Swear it for yourself. And swear it for me. Mm. Oh my god, she, she's crying. Mm. Okay. Okay. I swear it. I swear to you, Zack. And I swear right back at you. Hey. Um, was that the ending? No. Huh. 
Hey, how long are you gonna sniff like that for? Hmm? But my nose is running by itself. You dumb shit. There's no need to say that. Our plan is to get out of here. So do something about it, will you? Okay. Hold it. Ain't this your floor? You know, you know the way out? Tell you the truth. I have no memory of, of going above here. What? Give me a fucking break. I wasn't paying attention. There's a fire in this living room. Well then, let's go check out the fire first. Alright. I have no idea how long I've been recording, guys. But Jesus Christ. That was... Hey. Hmm? Sick. <laughs> okay. Ain't going anywhere. Eh. So it seems. <laughs> Had to make sure, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. I missed... I need to save. Okay. Uh, it looks like we've been playing for about 30 minutes. Okay, we can keep on playing. I mean, I just, I don't want to make like two hour episode. I mean, that who 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 had the time to watch all that, you know? I gotta go check out the living rooms for you first. Okay. What? What? Well, where's the foyer? Huh? Isn't this a wall? If I'm not mistaken, this should be the foyer. Zack, give it a hard shove. Shove? <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> I knew it would open. Look, you didn't have to hack it to bit, Zack. Ah, it's open, so who cares? I see. It opened, so... That's all that matters. <laughs> hmm. A dead end. But let's we'll take a look around, just in case. Nothing is inside the cardboard box. The cardboard box only contains garbage. A dumpster appears empty. Barrier tape lies on the floor. Hey. N not even any pay dirt to hit. That's odd. Something feels off. Ain't this, ain't this your floor? Think of... Uh, think of something. Let's figure out where the exit might be. Maybe it's somewhere we've never been. Or on this floor. On this floor? Now I have checked every nook and cranny besides this room when I was setting traps. You gotta hand it to you. Maybe the hole the big boulder came from? Damn, this makes no sense. Has anybody ever come down here? from upstairs before. That can't be. I mean, anyone besides you would die in a trap, so would know. Probably so. So nobody came down from upstairs, huh? Yeah, something sure doesn't make any sense. Somebody came down from upstairs. That's... Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, uh, what am I sp Somebody came from... Already on the ground floor. I don't know. Let's just deal with this one. Wait, that's strange. After all, Dr. Danny went in and out of the building. The traps and furniture for this room were all things he bought outside. 
Huh? What do you mean? Give me a second. Uh, I'll think it over. Hmm. Nobody's come down to this floor from outside, but Dr. Danny came here. Came and went as he pleased, which means... There's a way out on another floor. The way out must be on this floor. There's a warp that takes people out. Hmm. Maybe on the other floor. There's another way out on this floor. Huh? What do you mean by that? When you came, where... Were the other killers, Katie and Eddie, already in this building? Huh? Oh, those weirdos. I barely spoke to them since they're all freaks. Just as I suspected, which means... I'm the last one to come to this building. In that case... <laughs> I'll smash a wall. Sack, smash down some walls. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean. Well, I'll give it a whirl. The wall just killed in. It didn't go anywhere. Sorry. Maybe I goofed up. What? Think it over again. Okay. In that case... Maybe we go upstairs. Sack, let's go upstairs. Oh, do you know where the way out is? How and where do we go upstairs? Where? Forget I said that. Huh? I know... Oh... Does takes us to bounce, that's really, that's really annoying. You know, I get and all, but I got no time for stupid as kid games. I gotta rethink this. Okay. Well. Wait, did I take upstairs or downstairs? I don't know. Say, let's go upstairs. No. Do you know where out? Wait. Oh wait, fuck it, took the same one again. Jesus Christ, we can be here for a while. Yeah. Wait, so the other ones... So I took the right and I threw the other ones? Like... Because I repeated this one because I... Oh, it's so like... So I guess there's like no multiple endings. I guess I just get lucky. Sack, <laughs> let's go downstairs. What? Downstairs. There may be a way out. Downstairs. On floor B2. That makes no freaking sense. Are you psychic or something? There was no need for a way out be inside this room. In other words, my floor, this floor, should be the very last one made. In that case, when this room was made, there was already a way leading outside. You and I were surely brought in here from there. Huh? Dr. Danny, who I met outside, he had this room built by the Reverend, later on, so I think it wasn't linked to the first floor. The fact that I've never seen anyone come downstairs is proof. Hmm, I'm not sure what to make of all this. We need to go downstairs, right? Right. Plus, I recall that the switch to go down 
stairs is somewhere on this floor. That should be all we need. If you say so, then I'm game. Let's move out. Okay. The switch should be somewhere around the music box in the basement. He's still there. Let's go down into the basement. Oh wait, I... Oh. Hey, what gives? Let's head downstairs. Zack? Is it alright if I go downstairs alone? Huh? What the hell for? This will also be the last time I come here. So I thought this would be a good place to say goodbye. Why are you... Why are you going by yourself? Hmm? It's embarrassing having someone else watching, I guess. Maybe that's why. Huh? Eh. Just so you know, I slurred those mangy mutts. Did you? Sound like something right up your alley. I'll keep watch, so hurry up and do what you gotta do. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, let's... Let's save. Okay, we've been playing for a while now. And do nothing. Okay, let's go downstairs, this... Wait. I think someone is fucking calling me, guys. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I asked them... Um, I had to take a call, it was friend, nothing important. And I got a cold beverage to chill my throat or something. The music box is playing. Did that mean the lid's open? Yes, I did that. Wait. The priest guy w was supposed to be here. There he is. Hmm. Greetings, Rachel Gardner. Why? My handgun's gone. I must have dropped it in the living room. Calm down. No harm shall come to you. Then what do you want from me? Oh, I merely decided to ask you some questions. That's all. Yeah. Rachel Gardner. Sack was not your god after all. Correct? Uh, mm. Oh, jeez. Mm. Mm. Yes. But I've come to terms with that. Yes, or so it would seem. But is that something you truly accept in your heart? It's like trying to, like, fuck with her, you know, emotionally and mentally and stuff. Zack and I aren't... and I aren't gods. We are sworn off to each other. Precisely. Zack is no longer your god. No longer is he absolute. You have made Zack into a being that is not an angel, nor a god. And I turned him into a Zack. <laughs> into a Zack. How shall I put it? I mean, who will grant your wishes without question. No, wait. Without question is no more. What? Twas. Twas. An old forge with one who is not God, betrayal is conceivable. Nevertheless, if you have faith in that, your hope is absolute. Then how does it differ from any god? Eh. Uh, hmm. 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 Eh. I never really thought of it as absolute. Is that so? I certainly do have faith in Zack. That much is true. But our, our sworn oath and 
faith in one another is something we each decide in our hearts. Therefore, even if that is betrayed, it's my heart that has faith in him. My heart is mine alone to bear. I am prepared to accept something different from to God. It's like, oh, I wanted to fuck with her, but I couldn't. I see. And yet, you still desire your own death. Yes, I do. How? How can you alter your beliefs as such? Yet your desire remains unchanged. Well, I don't know. Like, oh, I don't believe in God and I'm an atheist, but I still want to be a millionaire. And <laughs> okay, maybe not the same thing. But I don't know. <clears throat> it's not that I myself has changed as a person. I just learned to accept myself. That's all. And I no longer want to forgive that side of myself. No one's left to forgive me. Which is why I wish to die. I can't go on living. So you have will willed this upon yourself? Yes, and the rest I'd better keep secret. Hmm. It's a shame. Whereas if uh, like twear whereas if you simply renounce God. Oh, um, you need not stare at me so. It is too late for that now. <laughs> I have one final question. Who are you, Rachel Gardner? I'm Ray. Please stop asking me that over and over. I am me. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, I see. You speak as if you stand with Zack as an equal. That too may not be entirely mistaken. A child who is neither an angel nor a witch. There is an area of doubt in my mind that you are indeed Rachel Gardner. Yes. Is that all? You were done here, then let me press the activation switch for the return elevator. Yes, do as you must. You want to stop me? Did I not make myself clear? Arshans shan shall not stand in your way. Apart from that, Rachel Gardner would not. She would not hurt to have a little grace. There is a switch in the bottom of the music box. If I press this, it worked. I could get back to Zack. Reverend, I'm going now. Very well. I shan't stop you. Do as you must. Reverend, is the way out on B2? Do you think I would tell you? I've answered many of your questions. I think it's only fair that you answer mine, Reverend. <laughs> Indeed. Check the stained glass window in the cathedral on B2. Okay. Oh, can't think of it. I never did say goodbye to this place. I'm sorry. Farewell. Time to go. Zack, now we can get back to B2. Let's head to the elevator that brought us here. Right behind you. But what the hell took you so long? The Reverend was in the basement. What? He's still around? Hmm? But he didn't do anything to interfere. What's the story with that guy anyway? Huh. What is this time? 
I gotta go to the living room. I may have dropped my handgun there. Ah, oh, back then. Then let's scoop it up and head down to B2. Okay. And Danny's probably alive or something. Eh. Oh fucking course. Of course. He's... He's gone again. What the fuck, that sneaky bastard. A monster, am I? He's a real monster. Doctor... Shit. Once we pick up your handgun, then let's get the hell out of here. Found it. This won't cut it. You found it, right? What's wrong? Th the trigger's broken. Danny. It's useless, right? Yeah. Oh well. Now let's get going. Okay. So, let's go back to the... Hey, Zack. Huh? So let's get to the elevator and then I'm gonna cut the episode because I don't know, I don't want it to be too long, you know. I want it to be a long episode, but not too long, you know. Where arrows flying through here? It looks like they didn't activate when you were chasing me. Uh, don't worry, they were flying at me before. Yeah? Hey, don't tell me that bastard went below. Probably so. Fuck. Wait, I would have sliced him into two. Mm -hmm. Wee boom. Oh, Christ. I should have said before we went here. Okay. You ran into that preacher guy in the basement, right? Yeah. Didn't you say something about saying goodbye or something, did you? It was really short, but yeah. Is everything over there yours? There's things I've picked up since I came here too. No. Then, well, they aren't really yours. Good question. I tried making them mine by sewing and patching them up. But those never answer when spoken to. So I don't know if they were really mine. Though I care about them. So I said goodbye. Hmm. Oh, the music box is originally mine. When I was young. I guess it was the last thing they bought for me. I really loved its music. Hmm. If you want it, then why didn't you just take it with you? Hmm? <laughs> She's like, shit. <laughs> There's no need anymore. All the music and my memories for it are all in my head. As long as I have that, then I don't need anything else. If that's okay with you, then that works. Mm, yeah. Alright, we're almost to the ground floor. Let's move. Okay. We're back. You're right. Man, this shit is complicated. Okay, guys. We're gonna save. We've been playing for a good while now. And yeah. The, la, next time is gonna be the last episode, I promise. I'm gonna play until the end. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you stay tuned until the next part. Probably will be up in like... Not tomorrow, but like in two days or something but yeah i hope i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe comment and all that good stuff and i'll see you on discord and in the next video bye, -bye.
Yeah.